very difficult. So much so that people will try all kinds of weird fads and diets. Today at Bestie, we're going to talk about a new diet pill that has just been approved by the Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA. Before we get started, be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss our daily videos. The key to losing weight in general is to consume less calories than you're burning. Proper diet and exercise are a surefire way to lose weight. But with today's climate, this can be difficult. That's one reason why companies are coming up with new diets and pills to help assist with weight loss. We want to acknowledge that there's a case to be made for folks needing some help when it comes to losing weight. If you've ever tried to drop a few pounds yourself, you can attest to how difficult it truly can be. This video is designed to give you all the facts about the new diet pill so you can have the proper information before deciding it's right for you. Remember, this pill is prescription-based as well, so you'll need to talk to your doctor before making any decisions one way or another. First, let's talk about what the product is. The pill comes from a company called Gelesis, and the new product is called Plenity. It's designed to help with proper weight management, all the while being paired with a healthy diet and exercise. This product comes in a pill that you can take with water about 30 minutes before eating. Inside each of these pills are thousands of water-absorbent hydrogels that can increase 100 times in size once ingested. They increase by absorbing water, and once these hydrogels have expanded to their full size, they sort of trick your stomach into thinking you're fuller than you really are. Literally, by taking up space in your stomach that would normally be occupied by food. The whole idea of this pill is that it's derived from natural building blocks made up of cellulose, which is commonly found in plants and citric acid, and is supposed to help you feel fuller so you don't eat as much during mealtimes. The company says that hydrogels work in the same way as if you ate a bunch of leafy greens. The hydrogels will stay hydrated until they reach the large intestine, where they'll be broken down naturally and will continue to be digested as food normally would. So that's how the pill is designed to work. Because this pill is delivered on a prescription basis, it's only suitable for adults who have a body mass index or a BMI of 25 to 40. Your BMI is a measure of body fat based on your height and weight that applies to adults. Most adults who have a BMI between 18.5 and 24.9 are considered normal weight. However, there are always exceptions to this rule. Basically, anything above 25 starts getting into the overweight range, which is why Plenity is only recommended for those with specific BMI readings. The results of the study had encouraging results. However, we feel the need to mention that the Gelesis Loss of Weight study, otherwise known as GLOW, was paid for by Gelesis, who are the makers of Plenity. This is the study that the FDA based most of their approval upon, according to Healthline. In this study, GLOW, the company recruited 436 adults with a BMI between 27 and 40 and tracked their results for almost 6 months, or 24 weeks. Researchers conducted a double-blind study, which means that neither the participants nor the researchers knew which pill was the real Plenity product, or which one was the placebo. This is likely to lead to more accurate results. People who were given the new weight management pill were shown to lose about 6.4 of their body weight over the following weeks, as compared to those who took the placebo, who only lost about 4.4%. This isn't really a huge difference, but according to the clinical parameters, this was considered significant. So, what are the side effects? Well, while the study hasn't raised any major health concerns or red flags, participants in the study did report some cases of gastrointestinal issues like diarrhea, abdominal pain, random bowel movements, bloating, and gas. However, those who took the placebo also experienced some of those effects as well. So the results do seem promising, without any surgery or major side effects. This is why the pill is so attractive. Most people want any help they can get, and if that only involves a little extra gas, then I think they'll be okay with that. Another thing to note about the participants in this study is that they were put on a pretty low calorie diet. They were instructed to eat 300 less calories in a day than they normally would. And these diets consisted of pretty healthy food, AKA no takeout. They were also required to partake in some form of exercise every day. As you've probably guessed, 
A low-calorie diet paired with exercise is the actual recipe to losing weight. So you have to wonder how much this pill is actually helping if these folks were already adapting a healthy lifestyle. Besides, suppressing the actual desire to eat, consuming low-calorie, healthy meals, and exercising regularly should have positive results when it comes to losing weight. Another concern when it comes to this study is that participants were only studied for about six months. In the grand scheme of things, that's actually a pretty short period of time. Losing weight and committing yourself to a healthy lifestyle is a lifelong journey, so short studies like this, although fairly positive with results, might not be so accurate when it comes to your long-term weight loss goals. Remember, if you're looking to get some outside help when it comes to losing weight, it's very important to speak with a professional. Proper exercise and diet will always be a part of any weight loss plan put into action, but there are things out there that could potentially help you along the way. Remember to always be safe and get a trusted opinion from a medical professional. Since the pill isn't set for release until the year 2020, there's no fixed price on the pill. Another reason why it may seem so attractive is no matter how expensive the pill ends up costing, it'll likely be way less expensive than any surgery used to help with weight loss like gastric bypass surgery. Gelesis is slated for late 2019 limited launch, with plans for a full release in the year of 2020. So what do you think about this new weight loss pill? Are you currently trying to lose weight and are interested in something like this? Have you tried weight loss pills before? What was your experience? Why not let us know in the comment section below what you think about this new FDA approved pill? Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.